Smile and learn. Hey, nature-loving friends. Have you ever wondered why some plants have flowers and others don't? Come with me and let's find out. We can classify plants into two types. Non-flowering plants called cryptogams and flowering plants called phanerogams. I'll tell you about both of them in more detail. We'll start by talking about cryptogam plants. That means non-flowering plants. Their main characteristic is that we cannot distinguish the components that are part of them. That is, the root, stem, and leaves are not very well developed. They reproduce asexually by means of spores. Spores are reproductive cells that do not need to be fertilized by another plant. Some examples of cryptogams are mosses and ferns. Now we'll talk about phanerogam plants. That means flowering plants. These plants usually reproduce sexually, which means that they require the joining of a female and a male reproductive cell. These types of plants always reproduce by seeds. But what exactly are seeds? Seeds are small pieces of material that contain the embryo used to create a new plant. There are two types of phanerogams, gymnosperms and angiosperms. Gymnosperm plants have rather unnoticeable flowers, like those of a fir or pine tree. The seeds are arranged on both sides of an axis, like this pine cone. Perhaps you've seen them in parks and forests. In the case of angiosperm plants, the seeds are found inside the fruits during the maturation process. These plants' flowers are showy and eye-catching, just like those of an almond tree. Look at how beautiful they are. What a great time we had. Together, we've learned which plants are flowering and non-flowering. Do you think you'll be able to recognize the different plant types the next time you see them? Until next time. We've learned so much in just one video. Did you know there are many more videos? Imagine how much you could learn. Subscribe to the Smile and Learn educational channel to learn and have fun at the same time.